This video is sponsored by Dowan. We're going to use their beautiful light blue ramekins that are flower shaped to make individual little desserts that will be perfect for your next lunch or small gathering. We're going to use them to make a lovely little lemon cream pie. For our first step, we're getting ready to make our crust. We've got our graham crackers in a bowl. We've also got our melted butter, our sugar, and our salt ready to go. We're going to take a quick little snap and we are going to crush up our graham crackers. Our graham crackers are all ground up. We used our food processor to do that really quickly. And we're just going to go ahead and add in our sugar and our salt. My favorite trusty tool for this job is a fork. And we're just going to blend it around to make sure that that's evenly distributed in our graham cracker crumbs. And then we can very, very gently and slowly add in our melted butter. And I like to add in about half to start, mix it around and see how it feels. You want everything to stick together, but not to be too wet. That can sometimes do bad things to our crust in the oven. It'll get too puffy, right? So we want it to stick together and to be able to press it into our ramekins, but we don't want it to be too wet. So sometimes, depending on the weather and the humidity, you may use all, need a little extra butter, or you might use just a little bit less. So it's helpful not to pour it in all at once. And just do it in two or three stages. And once we have this all mixed together, we'll be ready to press it into our ramekins. And I think today it's gonna take it all. You can see it's starting to clump together, but it still looks relatively dry. If your graham cracker crumbs start to look kind of greasy, it probably means there's too much butter and you might want to add just a little bit more of your graham cracker crumbs just to make sure that it doesn't have too much in it. I'll just blend this around and make sure everything is evenly distributed and that'll give us a nice beautiful crust that will bake up lovely in our oven. And the good way to test it is just to take your fingers, squish a little together, and if it forms a nice ball, you're good to go. For our next step, we're gonna be using our prepared crust mixture to line our ramekins. And for this task, I find a big tablespoon is really helpful, along with sometimes a little juice cup. And typically I start with one spoon, one big one down in there, and I'll just use that little cup to gently help press and compact that material down in there. And then I'll add some more and start working on the sides. And a lot of times you can just use your fingers or if you prefer, you could use a small fork, knife, or even spatula. But sometimes your hands are just the best tool you have for a job. We just want to lightly press that material up against the sides of our ramekins. And if you get some extra in there, you can always scoop it out. And this can be a little messy, so you can always work over your bowl. And once you get it down in there, if you need to, a little extra to help even it out and to press back down in the center. So we just want to go ahead and use this mixture to line all of our ramekins. For our next step, we're going to make our filling. We're going to combine our egg yolks with condensed milk, lemon juice, and zest. First thing we're going to do is grab our whisk and just gently break up our egg yolks. We can then pull over our condensed milk and just slowly stream that in and give it a stir while it's going into the bowl. We just want to make sure we get all that good stuff in there. You want to mix it really well. And then we can add our lemon zest. And 
And finally, our juice. And we just want to give it a nice, gentle stream while mixing. And you'll feel the mixture thicken up as you do this. And we just want to mix it until it's nice and well combined. And then it'll be ready to pour into our prepared ramekins. I have my filling in a large measuring cup to make it easier to pour, but you can also spoon it in as well. And I'm just going to slowly pour it in to my prepared ramekins. Once they're filled, we can pop them in the oven and bake them until they're set. Our little pies are baked and cooled. So we're ready to make our whipped cream to go on top. I have some chilled whipped cream in my bowl and I'm going to add to it a little bit of powdered sugar to help sweeten and stabilize it and a little vanilla for an extra flavor. But first we're going to whisk it lightly just to get it started. And we want to make some nice soft peaks. So you just want to whisk it nice and vigorous. Once we whisk it to nice soft runny little peaks, I'm going to gently Add in my sifted powdered sugar. And just gently whisk that in until it's incorporated. And then I can also add my vanilla extract. We've been whisking our whipped cream and it's now nice and stiff and it's ready to load into our prepared pastry bag and pipe on top of our cute little mini pies. I have mine fitted with my favorite decorative star tip, and we're gonna load it up and get ready to pipe. You can finish your little pies off a variety of different ways. You can cover the entire tops with whipped cream, or you can do cute little designs and let some of that beautiful creamy custard show through. I think I'm going to do just some cute little rosettes and stars. So I have a little half moon and you can still see some of that filling. So we get a nice beautiful presentation, a nice helping of that beautiful creamy whipped cream that's going to cut down on the citrus and the acid in our filling and help balance out the flavors and a beautiful presentation. You can top the whipped cream with a uh, nice little lemon slice, some cute sugar or sprinkles. I'm going to finish just a few of my little pies with some little decorative crumbles of graham cracker crust. And I'm going to finish the others with just a few little slices of lemon that I have cut up and I can just sink down in to that center dollop of whipped cream. And there we have a beautiful dessert, perfect for any afternoon lunch.